OK, so the first triangle we have is called an equilateral triangle. Now, what does equilateral mean? Well, it's taken from, I think they're from the Greek words, or could be from the English word, equi, and another word, lateral. Now, equi obviously means equal, and lateral means sides. So, equilateral means equal sides. So, an equilateral triangle has all three sides of the same length. What does that mean, or what's the result of that? Well, the result of that is that each angle in an equilateral triangle is the same. An equilateral triangle has the same three angles of 60 degrees. You can even experiment with this. If you take three pieces of length, could be a ruler, could be a piece of wood, of the same length, put them together in the form of a triangle, you'll find that they have exactly the same angles angle a b and c each angle will be exactly the same and it will be 60 degrees our second triangle is called an isosceles triangle now what does isosceles mean well it from the greek word it means two equal legs and in fact an isosceles triangle has two equal lengths and one length that is slightly different how you can recognize the isosceles triangle is that it will have two strokes, one stroke going through one side and another stroke going through one and the other side, which will indicate to you that both those lengths are the same. The result of these two same lengths is that two of the angles within the isosceles triangle will be the same length. So you'll have one angle that's different from them, but then two angles that will be the same. Our final um, triangle is called the scalene triangle which has no equal sides and the result of this is that each of the angle is different from the other two. There are no equal angles because there are no equal sides. So there are going to be no strokes through no red strokes through any of the sides of a scalene triangle and that in that way you'll know that all the angles are different so for the equilateral there'll be three strokes one through each side which will tell you that all angles are equal because all sides are equal for the um, isosceles you'll have strokes going through two sides which tells you that two sides are the same length and therefore two angles are the same and obviously we've just shown that the scalene will have no slashes no lines going through the sides so that means all of the angles are different the good thing about uh, triangles though is that although you have these three different types of triangles the angles within the triangles all add up to 180 so it doesn't matter if it's an isosceles an equilateral or a scalene triangle the angles will add up to 180 degrees and this information that we have on these different triangles makes it fairly easy to find the value of missing angles within a triangle and we're gonna do a few examples now okay guys um, here we go we're going to do with one uh, problem, let's see, oops, that's not a straight line, let's see how you do here. Now, what I want you to do is try to find the angles y and x. So let's do x equals and y equals. But I'm going to help you because normally Oh, well, first of all, I need to write the angle we do know. That's 41 degrees. How I'm going to... Now, normally, we wouldn't be able to tell what these two angles are because this looks like a scalene triangle. There's no lines through it or anything. So how on earth are you going to find out what X and Y are? Well, I'm going to help you. There, we now have an isosceles triangle. And what that means is that this angle here is exactly the same as that angle there. 
So, we know this is 41, so x must be the same angle. x is 41 degrees. So there you go, x is 41 degrees. That was easy, wasn't it? And it was easy because this is an isosceles triangle and we know that these two angles are the same. Essentially, when you see these two markings, what you do is ignore the angle, the, the one angle that's between. You've got two lines here. This one angle that's between the two lines, that's the angle that's different. So when we have the angle here, the two lines here, it's the angle that's between the two lines. So if your two angles were here, like there, like let's say, if you had two angles, two lines, two, two strokes through your faces, you always ignore that one and these two are the same so whenever you see the sign for an isosceles triangle you know which angle to ignore and you know which two are the same so if we ignore the y the x and this one must be the same so we know that x is 41 degrees so how do we work out y well that's easy now because we know that all three angles inside the triangle make 180 degrees so y plus 41 plus x equals 180 doesn't it and we know x is um, uh, 41 because this is an isosceles triangle so then really this is y plus 41 plus 41 equals 180 we know 41 plus 41 equals 82 So, y plus 82 equals 180. If we take 82 away from 180, that gives us 180 minus 82 equals 98. So what that means is that y equals 98. Why? Because y plus 82 equals 180. And we know this number is 98, because if you add 98 to 82, you get 180. So y equals 92, 98, sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm getting the numbers all wrong. Y equals 98 degrees so there we have it 98 degrees so we were able to do this because we knew this was an isosceles triangle we saw the two red strokes going through two of the lines so we ignored the angle between the lines so this told us that these two angles must be the same so x is 41 degrees once we have x is 41 add those two numbers together take them away away from 180 and that leaves you with 98. So y must be 98. So that's our first problem solved. Let's just try one more problem. Let me give you this triangle here. And I'm going to give you an angle. One hundred and fifty degrees. So, can you tell me what is the angle x? What does x equal? Can you work it out? Well, let me give you a clue. What is this? This is an isosceles triangle, which means two of the angles are the same but obviously this and this angle aren't the same and that and that angle aren't the same so these two angles are the same so we've got a bit of a problem here don't we because we can't say x is that because we don't know what that angle is but we can use the fact that a circle has 180 degrees 
in all of its angles added up together. So this plus that plus that actually let's do this. One hundred and oh sorry, my mistake. One hundred and fifty. Sorry, that's not very good, is it? Let's try again. One hundred and fifty plus X plus something else that will equal one hundred and eighty because all three of the angles equal one hundred and eighty. We're trying to find x. How on earth do we do this? Well, if, do you, do you understand or do you agree that if we take away 150 from 180, it will leave us the value of these two angles? Would you agree with that? Let's do that. So 180 minus 150, well that equals 30. So, these two angles must, added together, must be 30 because that already takes up 150 degrees. So that plus that equals 30 degrees. But, these two angles are the same. So, if this angle and that angle are exactly the same, x equals that angle. So, if you divide 30 by 2, you will get x. Now 30 divided by 2 is 15. So, x equals 15 degrees. Now, how am I so sure? Well, we said that these two angles must be the same. So if x equals 15, this angle must be 15 because this is an isosceles triangle now if you add all of these two three angles together remember these two have to be the same if they're isosceles you get 150 plus 15 plus 15 which equals 150 plus 30 which equals 180 so x equals 15 degrees again because this is an isosceles triangle, we know that two of the angles are the same. And using the fact that all of the angles added together in a triangle are 180, we take that off of 180, and this leaves us two angles that are of the same size. So, when you take 150 from 180, just divide the number by two. This shares half of the number, that shares half of the number. So hopefully you've understood that. Um, we're going to move on to another um, subject involving triangles in the next video. So until then.